Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, thank you for stopping by today. You're probably wondering, oh boy, what is he up to now? Well, I'm up on two meters here playing around with this. If you've been a subscriber for some time, you've probably seen this radio last year. Uh, this is my father, 7950. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Throw a thumbs up while you're down there, too. And I'll go ahead and tell you what this is all about so this radio when I got it uh, my dad wanted to get this back in his vehicle he had this radio way back when got it in the 80s brand new used it all over the place however as the video was last left uh, this didn't have a PL tone board or CT CSS tone board I always call it PL tones it was made by Motorola the, the uh, technology and they called it private lines so I end up always just calling them PL tones it's a lot easier to say anyway because I always forget one letter or two in the CTCSS algorithm there anyway so let's get into this uh, so this is the 45 watt model they also made a TR um, 7930 that was the 30 watt model so this one here is great except for the board so yeah you can use this on simplex you can use it for data and do uh, whatever you want minus using it on repeaters it doesn't have the option uh, for that and that's actually a TU 79 tone board uh, was an option with this didn't need it uh, back in the 80s up till I'd say probably uh, 2000s or so, uh, majority of the radios and repeaters uh, were wide open, so you were able to just put in the offset and you were good to go. <clears throat> As things progressed, everything got PLL tones, or PL tones, sorry, and uh, we end up having uh, radios that don't have those options kind of left on the shelf for simplex use. Or this, I mean, it has the offset built in, but the problem with this TU uh, 79 tone board and I left I'd probably make this since I have the circuit and I did all the drawings and I went ahead and I did make one look at this oh gosh yeah I cobbled cobbled this thing together I didn't even put it on a breadboard I just kind of followed this and just slammed it all together instead of using the because uh, the option with this you still only have three frequencies uh, from 67 to 253 uh, to 250 but with this you end up having three options and then you have to cut diodes with uh, with a pair of cutters there and then you're only stuck with those unless you resolder those two pins together I was trying to circumvent that and it was also on some of the tone boards you see online which are about $70 ridiculous for a radio like this you need to add that and you're still with the the three frequency function but i decided to try and do you know jumpers on and off to open and close those diodes for the three different types of tones i'm going to try to externally mount that so it would easily be selectable because yeah uh, if you take this on the road it's great if you're using a bass you only have a couple if you have three uh, sets of tones and multiple repeaters that it share tones or something like that then you're fine with a bass unit but yeah once you take this to travel and you are kind of stuck my dad was trying to do that so he was kind of stuck without a radio so I sent him that uh, Yesu I had the FM 2900 I had it on my channel as well and uh, yeah that had everything just built in ready to go and I got that cheap and easy I figured hey why not give that to him and I have some other radios I could use um, but I was still stuck with this. And I was like, man, I wish I could do something. So let's not, uh, let's not dilly dally. Let's get to uh, what's going on. After I saw a gentleman's channel named Dave, and I'll put his channel link down below there as well. I do appreciate it. Very, very smart gentleman, very smart radio engineer and all uh, around uh, technician of many, many things. Very impressive stuff on his channel. He gave me this idea and um, said, hey, you know, this um, is the same kind of option he, he was trying to work out is he had a radio, the same same thing, a two meter that uh, didn't have a tone board, kind of stuck without repeaters. So he cobbled up and um, put together some code that was out there and cobbled it all together to make kind of what I have here. He has uh, uh, a different setup 
but similar operation is the same. And um, this is this is the top of the radio cover, so this is going to be the external piece. All this will actually get cleaned up. I was doing the final proof, uh, making sure it will work. And uh, yeah, basically this has one, two, three on it. Uh, dot zero zero so if anyone knows yeah that's a PLL tone or PL tone sorry I keep saying that the PL tone there uh, for local repeater in my area and um, so yeah it's already set up for that and then I got two little nipple buttons on top here and the, the darker one of course if you press that you see how that changes so now we're 118.8 114 you go up use the other button that simple uh, and it goes all the way through all of them uh, 67 256 um, I'm not going to go through all that and uh, but yeah you just press the button and uh, we're able to get to where we need to go and you can set it up there's a way to set that as a home PL tone so you can just use that PL tone if that's one you're commonly going to use if you're on a certain repeater every time you power it up um, usually it starts at 67 but you can uh, cut the code a little bit and uh, add a, an option to have it be one of the selected PLL tones to be your home PL tone frequency and that is exactly what I've done here with 1230 it has worked I tested that off the air so I just wanted to make a video about that but yeah this uh, this radio seemingly operational so now i just got to get all this put back together and i'll show you the inside real quick i just used the speaker hole and to take one of the speaker holes off here to run some wires three wire setup three wires that's all you need to go into the radio and let's open up the box you're going to wonder how is it going to look inside is it is it the exact same thing it is not that it is that that is all it is you see the difference there it is yes everybody's favorite and you most people already know that by the display but yeah it's an Arduino board there is no hidden components up there look it's only a switch in the display everything's right on the board and not that board not, I don't really need that board but tossing it around I gotta frame that thing that's a work of <laughs> nah, maybe not a work art but anyway this is real simple there's a deviation control I just use a little stick and pad and I'm gonna actually have this velcro this is a screw top so I'm gonna have this screw top screwed together and then if I need to take this off for whatever reason a little velcro that's just on here with painters tape I told you I'm in the middle just and just finished this so real proud of this so if you do have an old two meter radio that may not be working uh, on repeaters because you don't have a PL tone board that is easily fixable now it isn't the best it is a little noisy it, is, it comes out as a square wave but you can tone down in deviation and uh, get it to open up the repeaters very easily and um, that's pretty much the only real setup uh, after you upload the code and wire it all up it's two switches display Arduino and one two three four components and a nano board see there's not really anything to it I like that uh, you know you're able to use these old radios again so yeah you can bring your radio back to life a lot of technology in this maybe even more than in the radio itself but for the price of these I mean they don't make the Hamtronics uh, external kits anymore anyway but this is a little bit smaller and you see how small this components are you can definitely probably even get this even smaller if you wanted to and make it a nice little micro tic tac case I was gonna do that but I had this box around and I just want to get done with making this work so this is uh, what has happened so I'm gonna go ahead and get the covers on and uh, go through all that on another video but uh, yeah you can bring your radios back to life with an Arduino and uh, get back on the repeaters with those old radios so I appreciate y'all and uh, 73